Hey, it's Amelia. Today I'm doing a video on my Project Pan update that I think I started this in August. I did film an October update and then I just never got around to editing it. So I'm going to include that update, but I wanted to tell you where I've been first. Um, so basically I graduated college in May and now I'm working and I basically, I don't know if I've talked about this in like an August video or whatever, but um, first I tried to do like a declutter series and it, the amount of footage I have is just so overwhelming that I don't know if I'll ever actually post it. I have like two of them edited. Um, I think what I need to do is just do it at my own pace and then sort of keep the videos like, oops, as a personal thing um, because I feel like it was therapeutic. I don't want to say therapeutic. I don't know. It was helpful to have a video, like, a camera rolling while I did it because then it made me feel more accountable, but also, like, made me feel like I could talk to someone about it even though I was by myself. So, I like that I have the videos, but I don't know if at this point it's worth editing and posting um, because it's kind of, like, specific to the summer where I was, like, unpacking everything from school and decluttering it that way and then decluttering everything I own so I don't know about that um I don't know I may just like if I ever declutter again I may just redo it and just not film as much uh for this video I'm gonna put in my October update before this one so currently um I've tried to post a little more on Instagram but not as much as I would like I pretty much just spend my free time doing other things, like I'll go out places or I'll go see people, like me and my friend do a lot of stuff together, um, and I, I've been exercising a lot. I keep getting comments on Instagram, people telling me I look like I've lost weight. I've lost some more weight compared to my last like update on that on Instagram, but I don't think a significant amount. Um, but I've been like using the elliptical I have at my house and I think that's pretty much it, but whatever. So I've been spending a lot of my free time doing that and not filming or taking photos for Instagram. Also, I've been painting. I wanted to share, so I did like a seahorse thing. This isn't finished because I have to do like the flowers, but I've been painting and stuff. So yeah, I just... People, when you when people ask me where I am, I just figured I would say in this video, I'm here, I'm just not filming. So, or I film an entire video and then never edit it and post it. So, I'm going to edit in my October update here, and then I will get into the November update. First things first, I finished a sample primer. Um, it was fine. I finished my Hourglass powder in Diffuse Light. Um, I forgot to say, this, I don't think this was BH, I think this was Pure Cosmetics, it was one of those two, whichever one's in the description. Um, this one is from Hourglass, I think I said that, and I broke the pan trying to get the last of it out of here. Um, I will be asking for a full size of this for Christmas because I like it for setting my makeup when I don't feel like... Either if my foundation is too matte and I feel like my face looks matte because of that or from just having a dry face day. I think that's really good. Um, next I have my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara, which I believe was almost done in the last update. A lot of the stuff was. Can't even open it anymore. This is the one with this kind of wand, if you care. Um, I have the Catrice one and I just feel like I like that one better. And I like the packaging better, so I think I have it with me. Nope, that's a lipstick. Mm -hmm. So this Catrice purple packaging one, I prefer. I think it just, like, something about the cover girl, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it just wasn't exactly how I remembered it. I think it was a little more clumpy than I remember, but not, like, super clumpy. Um, next I finished my Bite Lip Gloss in French, 
Oh, it's the French Press Lip Gloss in Flat White. Um, it's completely empty and I didn't feel like cleaning it. And I've already opened my second tube of it. I really like this and what I noticed is the coffee smell um, is only there like in the beginning when you first start using it. And the more you use it, um, the less you notice it. I think it's because when you first open it, there's just so much product that the scent is overwhelming. But as you're using it up, there's less in there. And I think maybe getting air in the tube helps also dissipate the smell. So I really like that. Um, but I know a lot of people don't because of the smell. Or people that are sensitive to scent. I've heard, like, I think I talked about it on Instagram and people were like, thank you for mentioning that because now I won't buy it. Something like that. Um, next, I finished my Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation in LW2. Um, and one of the things that I think happened since last time is I bought the Milani Foundation, which is, is it not in here? It's not in here. Okay, so I bought the Milani Foundation. I don't know what the name is. Um, I think there's only one anyway. They have expanded their shade range a lot, and now I actually have a shade in their line, so I prefer that over this. However, I'm still reviewing the Milani one, and I feel like there are some issues with that one when it comes to wearing it for very long periods of time, and I don't remember if this one had that issue, but this one also has a shitty shade range, and this one, this color, LW2, is still too pink for me, so... I will be repurchasing that. Um, I also own, this is the Ordinary Cover Foundation in 1.1 N or Fair Neutral. Um, although I still feel like this pulls a little more yellow than neutral, which is kind of where I fall. I have a yellow undertone, but I have a lot of pink like here and like splotches. So like to make the, the redness of my skin not look so strange on the other parts of my body, I tend to get slightly neutral warm foundations and this one I like but it's still a little too matte for me um but the Milani one is like very uh, not luminous but it's not a matte like it doesn't dry matte kind of foundation um but it al almost is like too mm, I don't want to say dewy but it doesn't set enough I feel like for me so then throughout the day my makeup doesn't look good after like, I don't know, six to eight hours, and I have long days, so that doesn't really work. Whereas this, I think I'm wearing this today with a lot of bronzer. I think this lasts pretty well, so I kind of really like both. Um, the reason I'm talking about this is because I think I might add this into the project um, for 2020. This whole project is just getting shit out of my collection before the new year. Um, I might add this in just to rotate through my foundations. Um, but yeah, I would suggest this one or the Milani over this simply because of the shade range. Speaking of Physician's Formula, I finished the Butter Bronzer in Light Bronzer. I was re-watching my video yesterday to remember what I was even fucking talking about. And I remember saying that, um, what did I say? Oh, I said that this would take me a long time. Um, I think I might have repressed it once, but it did not take long at all. Um, and I replaced it, another Milani replacement, with the Sunlight Silky Matte Bronzer. I think it's the Silky Matte Bronzer or Bronzing Powder in the shade Sunlight or 01. They only have three shades in Ulta from what I've seen. Um, but I don't really know. I talked about this on Instagram. I don't really know how many skin tones one bronzer could cover. So theoretically three might be enough. Although I know Physicians Formula has at least four now. So I just wanted to switch for a lot of reasons. The main one being this crumbles and um, Physicians Formula just has shitty shade ranges in general. Um, and this packaging is so much slimmer, which I prefer for my makeup bag. Um, the problem, though, with this one is that apparently it gets hard pan easily from what other people have said. Um, and my perspective on that is just you sort of pick your poison with this. Like, this one doesn't get hard pan often in my experience. 
I think this is like my third or fourth one. Um, but once you hit pan, it just crumbles all over the place. Whereas this one seems to be harder pressed. So it may not blend as well if you put too much on. What I liked about the physician's formula is I could blend out any mistakes. Um, but with this one, you also probably don't have to worry about it crumbling out of the pan. I mean, we'll see. I haven't finished it yet. This is only my first one of the Milani, but that's what I'm going to assume. So you win some, you lose some. Um, next, I finished the Wet n Wild Nudie Patootie Catsuit Liquid Lipstick, and I had depotted it into this jar. Um, and now it's empty. Actually, I think I grabbed the wrong jar. Hold on. I mean, it's an empty jar, so like whatever, but I think, uh, what is it in here? I don't know. This might have been the right one. Anyways, this lipstick, I really love the color of and the formula, um, and I really liked the applicator and the packaging and everything about it was great. However, Wet n Wild is no longer cruelty-free by my standards, so... You know, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, and the NYX dupe to that, which is the matte one in butter, it's slightly darker, but it also, um, the lipstick itself falls apart. So it's kind of like not the best made lipstick. Um, but it's cruelty free and it's a drugstore lipstick. So I guess I can't be too disappointed, although... I just think it's disappointing that I can't buy from Wet n Wild anymore because their lipsticks were really good and I think there were other products I really liked. Um, not that I can think of any at the moment. So yeah, that's just disappointing. Um, so to get into the products that I have not yet finished, so far I have finished one, two, three, seven products, which is a lot compared to what I thought. Um, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven left. Wow, perfect. Okay. So to start off with base products, I have this Physician's Formula Face Primer and an Anastasia Foundation Stick. I may have used this once since the last video. I don't know. As I said in my last video, I don't feel like measuring things. So we're just going to assume that I barely used it. Mainly because I finished the Physician's Formula and I think I started using... No, I, st I bought the Milani and I started using that. And then I switched to this one. Um, the reason I haven't been using this one is because this is better for very oily skin, in my opinion. I think compared to my Hourglass one, this one just is drier. And I would either need to have oil on my face first or I would need to set it with something like this Hourglass powder that's luminous, kind of. It's diffuse light, not luminous light. But I also use luminous light. Um, but something that has more shine to it so your face doesn't look as matte. This is just like a very matte foundation stick, even though I don't know if it says that. But they came out, Anastasia came out recently with the Luminous Foundation. I don't know if it's called Luminous, but it's supposed to be Luminous. So I think that that came from wanting to have a liquid foundation in their line, but also recognizing that this is really meant for oilier skin types or just people with normal skin that have whatever skincare or other makeup products they use keeps their skin looking at least like a normal amount of shine because your skin's not naturally matte um and I just have a difficult time doing that so this isn't really a product I like to use during the week um, and then on the weekends, I tend to forget that I have it. So I need to remember to use this and take the time to use it well. I think for me, this is really good for the summer when I can like moisturize my face more because I don't know why I just feel like I do and then use this and then not have to worry about because I would sweat throughout the day. So I, I feel like it stays pretty good with when you sweat, but if you're not sweating like in the winter or fall or whatever, I feel like it gets too dry or that it just is too dry. It's almost like, it looks like the moisture has been sucked out of your face and that's not exactly the look I'm going for. This does that a little bit as well. So if I look really dry in this video, that's why. 
Um, and it also could just be my skin is getting drier as it gets colder. I don't know, but I tend to not like to use this because I know a lot of preparation goes into it. And this primer I tend not to use because it doesn't sit perfectly well under foundation. It kind of beads up easily if you put too much. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's basically like every other primer I've tried, which is kind of why I don't use primer. I don't think they really do anything for me. They sort of just add a layer to your face before your foundation and potentially mess up your foundation. So I will try to make time to make these work, but the reason I haven't is because they take effort and who wants to put an effort? I don't. Um, next I have two liquid lipsticks left. The Makeup Forever one and um, in 105, whatever color that is, and Pure Hollywood from Anastasia. And I think I used both of these like once or twice. Um, I may try to focus on this one, but this one's darker. So I would have to plan around a lot of dark lip, cool tone makeup days, which isn't hard for me, but also sometimes I want to wear warm tones. Um, I was looking to see if I could kind of, sometimes you can see in it when there's like light peeking through and that doesn't. I don't know if this one does. This is the one that I thought was like half empty. Yeah, and when I look through in here, I don't think I'll be able to show you, but I can see light peeking through. So I can't really say how much either has, but like this one's small, but this one has a lot of product missing. So we'll see what happens. They might end up in the 2020 project. Um, this is the Bite Lip Pencil. Um, I did use this and I remember using it, if you can see. I need to sharpen it and that's why I haven't used it more recently. This is good for days where I'm wearing warm tone makeup and I don't want to take the time to use a depotted lipstick. So the problem though is that I forget to sharpen it and I like to wear this with a lip gloss over it, if that matters at all. Um, this is Retsina. It kind of looks the same as before, but I can tell that I've used more of it. I don't know if you're able to tell. Um, I use it with a lip brush. I wear this when I wear warm tones. And then Kava, I haven't hit any pan on it yet, aside from, like, being below plastic, obviously. Um, and this I wear on Cool Tone I had this on this morning. And then I put on the Kava Liquified or whatever. So that's what I'm wearing now. And I feel like it actually looks more pinky purple than I initially thought. Um, but I don't dislike the color. The last product I want to talk about is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I got this in a makeup swap. And I'm enjoying it, but I find that I prefer a glitter glue to do the same thing. Um, I don't feel like this adds enough lightness to the lid when before I put on eyeshadow to actually really have any effect on the end result. I feel like a glitter glue just makes everything stick better. I shouldn't call it a glitter glue because I'm actually not sure if that's what it's called. It's the NYX one that I've only ever had one tube of. Is this? Nope, that's a concealer. I should be more prepared for these videos, but I'm just not. I don't know. Whatever NYX one I've been using, um, is it NYX? No, I'm not sure. I think it is the NYX one. I just feel like the Jumbo Eye Pencils, I, I don't really know how to use it. I think you're supposed to like put it down as your eyeshadow and then just like leave it with that, although you can put stuff on top. I think this would be good if you wanted to put white eyeshadow on and you'd put this first and then set it, I think that would work good. But like when I swatch it also, it's pretty matte. I mean, it is matte, but it's also a cream. So maybe you're supposed to wear it like a matte eyeshadow or maybe it's good. it would be good for like a brow bone highlight or something. I used it today, I put it all over the, I guess it's the mobile lid, the part that moves and then I put shimmer on and I feel like it, doesn't do anything different than putting eyeshadow over primer or even a glitter glue. Um, so yeah, I just feel like I haven't figured out exactly how I would like to use this other than just using it when I'm not using my glitter primer or whatever. 
Um, moving on. I said that was the last product, and I lied because I have my palette still. Um, I repressed a bunch of eyeshadows, and I would point them out to you, but I think you can kind of tell which ones were repressed and which weren't. The big change from this time compared to last is I finished this eyeshadow here, which was a Franken shadow, but originally it was a blue eyeshadow from the Smoked palette from Urban Decay in the shade Evidence, which looks identical to the blue one down here. That one has like crap in it, but you can tell it's blue. Um, and I had turned it into a freaking shadow that looks just like this one because this was from the same eyeshadow making session, if you will. Well, this looks like crap. My hands are dry, so this does not look how it would on the eye. Um, but it's basically a warm brown. Um, and Dark Horse I had to repress and I have a lot of progress on, if you can see that. Let's see, what else? I did depot um, Urban Decay Twice Baked here, which was in my Pan That Palette of 2018. I will use this when Dark Horse is gone. And then I also have from that same project, uh, whatever this one was, I think Midnight Cowgirl from Urban Decay. And I had to repress this one and I use this all the time as my inner corner highlight when I do warmer makeup. I added this huge eyeshadow that I got from my friend Erin for inner corner highlights when I do cool toned makeup. Although I guess I could use the other one if I wanted to as well. Um, I don't really have many updates for this other than shadows I think have changed around a little bit. I finished the bronzer so there's more room. Um, the biggest thing with this is just like next year, I'm going to be panning whatever I decide to put in here. And I believe most of this will be in here. There are a few shadows that are only in here because I need them every day to make an eye look like my um, base shade, my brow bone highlight slash primer setting shade. Um, and then like stone from Anastasia, I use as a transition shade anytime I do a cool toned eye look. So there are a few things in here that... I wouldn't necessarily be panning, but I might actually finish because I need them for everyday use. But it's gonna be difficult to finish all of this in a year. Um, even that shadow, that was the one in the last video that I just said was like really flat because I had repressed it. I had to repress it again and it still took me, I finished it yesterday. So even for an eyeshadow that looks like it's almost gone, it is gonna take a long time. Like for example, this purple is really flat and has pan in it. Um, that could probably take me two or three months. Obviously not if I used it every single day, but um, I'm not really in the mood to do that right now. Sometimes I like to do that because it's easier to get ready in the morning, but other times I'm just like, I'll pick a random base, not base shade, or all over the lid shimmer shade for the day. Um, I also have been using this matte eyeshadow a lot to deepen my crease, and it is going to take me forever to pan, so. I don't know. Oh, I have to talk about my empties. Duh. My other empties. I get off track very easily. I should like script these, so then I know what I'm saying. Um, I'm just gonna pull randomly. I finished an eyeliner from NYX. It's called That's the Point. It's like a marker kind of liner. Um, and I'm, I already have a backup of this that I'm using. So when that one starts to dry out, I'll buy another one. I finished, was this in it? In the original project, I said that this lip balm was, I think I had already finished it. This is a second one that I finished. So I've now finished two lip balms. I go through them very quickly and I already am working on a second or third one and then I have a fourth as a backup. I finished this perfume from Pacifica in Hawaiian Ruby Guava. I wasn't sure if it's in Hawaii or Hawaiian. Um, and I've switched to the Ulta brand body sprays because I feel like this doesn't last the length of time that a perfume should. It's more like a body spray. So why not just buy a body spray because then you get more product per bottle. Like this is really small and I can get a body spray that's like two to three times bigger. Um, I finished a 
Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Derma E. Um, I feel like I talked about this in a different video about skincare. Or maybe it was just on Instagram. I don't even know. I feel like it isn't the ingredients that seem to make a difference for me, but the formula. So this is a serum, and I feel like it's not as hydrating or moisturizing as when I buy this in their night cream. So my thought is maybe like the viscosity of the product is what I see a difference in. Um, but hyaluronic acid is supposed to be good for you, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to buy next. I finished, this was from a while ago, I think, the Body Shop Aloe Soothing Day Cream. So I had purchased this because the picture online looked a lot bigger. Like, you know the body butters that are like that big? That's what I thought this was going to be, and it came really small. And I was like, oh. But I used it anyway. Ew, it smells gross now. Um, but at the time, it smelled good. And, oh, I should show you it's empty. Duh. Um, I just feel like... I bought this because I realized that things that are thicker in formula work better. Like, so instead of using this, I might use this. Um, and I feel like this didn't do anything special. So, I don't know. I might just buy, like, a giant body butter and use that on my face. I don't know. I finished a coconut water micellar cleansing tonic from Pacifica. And I bought two more. This is the one I always use. And I wanted to mention that the packaging has changed. So... It doesn't have just the light turquoisey teal color anymore. Now it's like a gradient from like a dark blue to I think a color like this. So if you're looking for it, um, just so you know, it looks different now. Um, <clears throat> they do have a kale one and like a rose water one. I haven't tried any other ones. I just use that one. Okay, so for November's update, I don't know if I in the, I'll have to look. In the October update, if I finished the Wet n Wild lipstick that I depotted, and because I wasn't sure, I brought down an empty jar that I think it was in. I have like three of these from ABH that I just like use. So here's an empty one. I don't know if this was the exact jar or not, but whatever. Um, so that's gone. So for lipsticks left over, the lip pencil, the two, and the two liquid lipsticks, I can't really show you. I think I sharpened the lip pencil, and I have actually been using these more, um, the Makeup Forever one in Pure Hollywood from Anastasia, um, but just not like enough to show you progress, so we'll see about those. Um, for Bite Retsina and Kava, um, I've used them. You can see that I dug my nail into Kava, kind of, and then this one I've been using with a lip brush. Um, the problem with these is that if I don't have my lip brush in my um, brush cup near my bed, because I do my makeup on my bed, um, I will just not use them. And so for like a month, I had washed my lip brush so that I could use it and be sanitary for once. And I put it back in my clean brush thing, which is not near my bed. So I just haven't been wearing those, but I need to be for face stuff. I believe these were both in the original project. This one's dusty because I haven't been using it. Um, it's the primer from Physician's Formula. Um, I like it. I just, it's an extra step I don't feel like I need, so I haven't been forcing myself to use it. I've used it at least three times since October, I think, or not October, since September. My October update was supposed to be the beginning of October, so whatever. Um, and then the stick foundation, I think I've used some. I don't know if you'll be able to tell a difference. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I don't know if you saw that. This one is just, it doesn't look good with dry skin. And I've been having dry skin recently because two reasons. One, it's getting colder. And two, I've been using a um, toner that has a lot of, alcohol in it like is denatured alcohol or whichever alcohol is supposed to be bad for you um I didn't realize until after I bought it that, that was like the third ingredient and I didn't want to return it so I'm just using it up and my skin is suffering and I'm just like I'm fine with it honestly I'll just not ever buy that again um and also this is the same problem the ordinary foundation in 1.1 n fair 
think I put that in the description, so I don't really need to tell you, but this one's in ivory. Um, both of these are a little light for me now, so I bronze with them. Um, what was I going to say about this? Mm, I don't remember. Just that it looks dry, um, but that it's easier to apply and, <clears throat> excuse me, it's easier to apply and make it look good compared to this one. Did that make sense? I don't know. This one takes more effort, and um, if I use either an SPF, like a sunscreen, or a primer like this one, this is my only primer, so that one, um, if I use one of those first, this is harder to get to spread over it without the stuff underneath, like, pilling up and coming off, so I tend to pull for this one, and I've also been using the Milani foundation that I got, um... And that one's just nice. I really like that one. I think I'm wearing that one today. I did buy stuff from ColourPop. I should have brought it down to show you, but I didn't. Um, I, I, you can see it on my Instagram. I bought a palette and a concealer, and the concealer is also very dry. So I've been struggling to test that out while also trying to pan these because it's just everything has to be dry for me right now for some reason. The last thing I want to talk about is something I'm kind of adding to the project, but not really. So this is my Pacifica Lip Balm, or Lip Quench, in Coconut Cherry, which is the clear one. I, for the life of me, cannot find the one I was using. So this is a new one. When I find the other one, because I'm determined to find it, I will pan it and then come back to using this one. But I'm just really annoyed that I had to open a new one, and this one has still not come up. I lost one of these earrings recently, and I found it. And then I lost a jar. It was actually one that looked like this. Um, that I use to put, uh, what's it called, micellar water in in the morning because I clean up my eyeliner with it. Um, so I found that jar that I lost and the lip balm is just missing. I don't know. I cleaned under my bed. I cleaned under my bedside table. I cleaned under my dresser. Um, I can't imagine it getting under my desk, but the problem is there's a fridge there now, like a mini fridge, so I don't know about that. Um, but I'm going to keep looking and eventually I will find it and pan it. My plan for approaching December is to, I'm going to say I want to finish this, but I can't, I wish I could show you how much. I'm sure that it like settles, but I, I keep it in a makeup bag so it shakes up. This is not like that full. I would say it's like down here somewhere. Less than half full for sure, probably around a third or less. Actually, yeah, less than a third. Um, I use like two pumps every time I use it. So I don't know how long that'll last, but that will definitely go first. Um, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to wait to, not intentionally, but I will probably choose not to use this until I f switch over to the Milani foundation or the Hourglass, which I really like. And this will be what I use when my skin isn't so dry because it just it just looks like dry flaky skin on my chin and around my nose when my skin isn't visibly flaky it's just like if you have even a little bit of dryness this will find it and amplify it for you so that's a problem um in terms of lipsticks I think if I really tried I could finish Retsina before the end of the year. Probably not by December. Um, the thing about this lip pencil is I only use it if I'm using a lip gloss over it. I wouldn't use it with any of these. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But basically I have five lip products and two foundations mainly and then a primer. So it shouldn't be that hard to finish something. I was supposed to bring down my palette and I just remembered that um, the palette in the original video and in the October part of the update, the pink one, I finished two eyeshadows. I don't know if I finished them in October or in September and showed it in the October update or what, but it's like November, is today the 4th? I think today's the 4th. Let's see if I can edit and upload by the 5th, doubt it. Um, but so, I don't know. I don't even know what, what I'm talking about. Oh, so I don't know exactly when the, um, 
when I finish those eyeshadows, but two of them are finished and there's a lot of pan in them. I think I posted an update on my Instagram, so I might just put that picture in here. So currently my goal is to finish as much of this as possible and then in the new year set up like a filming schedule so I can actually like edit and upload on time. I think the issue that I run into is that the bulk of my free time is after the sun goes down. What I need to do is as soon as I get home from work every day, film something or take Instagram photos and then later on in the evening when I have free time, use that to edit and upload things. Um, which is an idea that I've already thought of and just haven't done it yet. So this is me trying. Um, I can't promise that I'm going to be consistent ever, but like I'm always like reading my comments and trying to reply within a month. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, and I try to watch other people's videos, although recently I haven't been on YouTube. I don't really know why. I just haven't been. Um, but I'm going to, at the very least, try to post things on Instagram more. So, yeah, we shall see about that. The only other thing I have to say is I'm really excited to do Pan That Palette for next year um, and post video um, updates regularly and on time. I'm going to say I'm going to do my best to do quarterly updates on YouTube and Instagram, whether or not I can do monthly on both. Um, I'm going to just say I probably won't, even if I have the ability to. I just, sometimes I just want to do other stuff with my free time. It's not that I, like, I doing the projects is one thing, but, like, filming or taking photos and then editing and uploading on either is, like, a whole nother situation that I just don't always have the time or energy for. Um, but I do really love YouTube and Instagram, so I want to be posting more. I also think that the palette that I have, the custom palette, is kind of ugly. Oops. The custom palette I have is kind of ugly, so taking photos with it is really irritating because it just looks like shit no matter what I do. But I think in videos it'll be okay, so I don't know. We'll figure something out. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of, like, I don't really know what else to film. Besides, like, occasional hauls or projects. I guess if I do a project pan and a pan that palette, and then I film hauls every once in a while, and then if I think of something else to film, I'll do that. I feel like that'll be enough videos for a year. And then maybe eventually I'll have a schedule that... I don't know. I just feel like I have a lot of ideas for videos, and then either they end up longer than they should, or... I can't finish editing them like the entire declutter series took me like half a month of it took like most of May to film because I was just I really did declutter my entire life and then I just like don't I don't know I don't know if it's I don't have the time or just I'm using my time differently than before um, being an adult and not being in school is really weird because I've never done that before like I don't think I'm ever going to go back to school to get my master's just because it doesn't feel like the right thing to do with what I want for my career. So like transitioning into like being an adult and I don't know, it's just very odd. So I don't really like it. Sometimes I just don't know what to do with my time because I'm like, well, when I'm, it's, it's kind of like summer break when like you're waiting to go back to school, but now it's like, it's never happening. So I just need to like decide what I want to do with my excess time because currently I'm part-time. When I'm working full-time, I think what will happen is I'm more likely to film on the weekends. I don't know. Planning things is hard. Um, currently, I should have the time because I'm part-time, but, um, you know, life. Also, I've been, you know what I've been doing that's, like, so dumb? So, I like to paint and stuff and like whatever but then I have these apps where it's like paint by numbers but it's, you just you just press on it and then it colors it for you and it's like you don't even get to choose the colors and it's like the dumbest thing but that's what I spend so much time doing so I need to like at least do art where it's my own thing like my own creation so then the end result is like a value besides just something to waste my time doing so yeah also, I am going to probably switch to filming in my room again soon. I know people like the porch better, and I do too. 
However, it's cold and I don't want to be out here when it's like zero degrees. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me and for all the lovely comments even when I'm not on here. Um, I will try to post at least once a month until the new year and then that's when I'll actually like stick to a schedule. I'll like write it in my planner and then it'll be official. Um, I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Bye.